Hey guys, so uh, today I'm doing a video because I went out to the uh, local astronomy club meeting and actually joined. So September 1st, 2016 marks my official uh, joining of the Southwest Florida Astronomical Society and it couldn't have been a, a better like day to do anything. Other than other than go out and, and, and check out the planets uh, in our solar system or, or our night sky, I mean we've had some really bad weather here. Uh, but I'm not going to go into a whole rant on that. This video is about the cool go-to system that the president of the club um, personally gave me. Um, it was free for anybody who wanted it. I guess a bunch of people just didn't have room for it or had no idea what it could do. I knew exactly what it could do and it's hard to believe that it was really meant to be actually I'm still uh, I'm still having a hard time believing that I actually got a go-to system I've actually been wanting a go-to system for my uh, Celestron Power Seeker ADEQ for a while now um, I just couldn't afford it or I really just could not afford um, the 400 bucks that the uh, Orion's um, Star Seeker 4 costed on telescope, uh, I think it's telescope or telescopes.com. I've been eyeing it and looking at it and really drooling over it. And I'm not really sure if this is actually the Star Se this, the, the, uh, the Seeker 4, the Star Seeker 4, but it looks like it might be the Star Seeker 4 or older version of the Star Seeker 4. I'm going to find out later today uh, when I call telescope.com because it's made by Orion. Um, it doesn't have the Star uh, Seeker 4 anywhere on it, but it does have model numbers and stuff like that. So maybe I can find out from them uh, what model it is and go from there. I'm going to give you guys a look at the... Um, the go-to system and uh, this is why I recommend it if you're new to astronomy like I am uh, the people at the um, uh, astronomyforum.net were really awesome um, to uh, open my eyes and look for an astronomy club near me and surprisingly there was an astronomy club that is really awesome there are some really great guys i talked to a couple of the guys and they are just amazing these are people that uh are not like some of the people that i deal with um in the, the situation that i deal with it's a whole different ball game and it's amazing that there are people out there who are not like the people that i deal with on the internet and they're really smart and intelligent and it's just mind-blowing that uh, that all this time I've, I've uh, you know <laughs> been like pretty much isolating myself from that stuff so it was really great of astronomyinformed.net people and I highly recommend you to look around uh, for a star party or an astronomy club near you and definitely think about checking them out and probably joining them Chances are your star parties or your astronomy clubs are going to need your help uh, because a lot of them are non-profit and they rec they run on solely on donations and stuff like that. So uh, maybe if you have a few bucks to spare, consider like once in a while contributing to the club. I know that my astronomy club um, they're really um, they're really needing donations and um, especially the nature center which is where the planetarium is they're really bad off um, they've got really uh, really behind on like a lot of money and stuff which is really a shame because a childhood thing that I grew up with um, is possibly one day no longer gonna be there because this they're just so far behind on money they need repairs and stuff and I'm doing my best to try to reach out to people on the internet who, who some of you who might be planning to come to Southwest Florida for winter time or something like that, that you maybe consider checking out the uh, address in the description below. I've, I've included their phone number, so if some of you have family, or you yourself, or a wife, are planning to come to Florida for vacation or something like that, check out the Clusa Nature Center. Uh, and planetarium. It's a great um, 
peaceful place to come to if you're in a nature and you want to check out some of the, the life stock that they have and they do um, sometimes show I think they're animals so it's a random whatever the staff decides to pull out they'll let you possibly to pet it or get to see it up close so they might pull out a snake or maybe one of the wildlife critters or something like that that you might actually get to um, get up and close and actually see if you're into nature if you're not into that well it's a, it's kind of a little loss on your end um, but it's definitely a family friendly place um, the staff there are are pretty good they're all volunteers pretty much so they volunteer their time to come in and and you know basically help out and stuff so I kind of wanted to use this time to plug the uh, Clusa Nature Center for any of you who plan to come to Southwest Florida stop by the Clusa Nature Center and and um, help support a nonprofit organization that really needs your help and hopefully you won't be disappointed um, when you go there they have boardwalks for the family to go on they have I forgot how many acres of boardwalks they have but lots of boardwalks that are currently in need of repair as well um, and um, it's been around since I was a little kid um, and I'm 33 years old now and I remember going to the planetarium for my elementary school uh, field trip which really break, makes me want to shed into a tear right now I literally just got goosebumps thinking about about the night of me um, which was September 1st um, I got to go in there and watch their movie that they had and it was absolutely breathtaking I mean I know a lot of people wouldn't be impressed with it which is really a shame I mean because I was blown away they really need a new um, a new projector which those things are thousands and thousands probably even ten thousand dollars or more in the twenty thousand dollar range because they're still using an outdated projector system that fills up their dome in the inside so that they can project a tv production on the screen so that you can kind of like enjoy like a, a almost like you're there literally i was watching the the, the program they had on and it felt like like I was in space because like you could see like the meteorites and the asteroids and stuff like that that were that were you know with looked like they were going to hit you in the face like they were literally that close and it was so amazing how it how it was and I, I don't remember that being so amazing when I was a kid but definitely enjoyed myself and now I'm going to show you uh, the Star Seeker 4 I appreciate some of you guys who listened to me I know this was a long video uh, but I'm gonna switch over and let you guys see the Star Seeker, or I think it's the Star Seeker 4. I'm not really too sure. It's an Orion go to mount that was given to me by the Southwest Florida Astronomical Society president of the club. And um, I will always be deeply honored and humble by his, um, his thoughts of wanting somebody to have it at no cost because I thought it was going to be some kind of auction or something I really wanted it and um, it's it's a it's a dream come true that I actually now have a go-to system um, and uh, if it doesn't work out I'll be more than glad to give it back to the astronomy club and and uh, let somebody else have it I don't plan to sell it um, I wanted to try it out I just didn't have the 400 bucks to try it out but the club decided that they got it from a donation from somebody else and magically I guess it was meant to be for me to get the the go-to system because I've been I've been literally drooling over a go-to system uh, I only need to get a dovetail so I need to raise a little bit of money uh, or find some money to get like a dovetail that can, can mount my uh, my um, Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ2 and uh, yeah so we're gonna jump right into taking a look at the um, go to mount now I thank you for your time and um, be sure that if you're ever in Southwest Florida for the next three years or anytime in the next two years you plan to make a trip to Southwest Florida or Florida in general if you can make your way down south on your maps for Southwest Florida be sure to check out the Clusa Nature Center. We, they have a, um, 
a meteorite that's going to be on display for I think two years or maybe three years. I don't know how, when the deadline is, but I would say roughly two years from this video, so about 2019, I think. Um, it'll be on display in the planetarium, so you can actually go there and you can physically touch it like I got to do. Uh, a, a meteorite that literally crashed like thousands of years ago and it's older than I am. And just the fear of mere fact that you can actually touch it, they actually welcome you to touch the meteorite. Now they don't, I don't think they really want you to try to pick it up, but you're welcome to touch it, you're welcome to pose with it and take a picture of it and take a picture around the family around the meteorite if you're looking for, you know, a chance to get a real close up with a meteorite. We have a meteorite down here in Southwest Florida that you are welcome to check out during normal business hours. I am not affiliated with the with the Clusa Nature Center, um, so I can't really uh, give you any advice, but if you need to get in touch with them or want to get in touch with them, you can check them out uh, in the description below. I've added their address so you can put it in your go-to your, or your GPS on your phone and navigate to the location if you're in Southwest Florida for a vacation or down here visiting family and you want to do something for the day with the family, be sure to check them out. They really would love to have you and they, your your money will be well, well helped for helping the Nature Center stay operational and also go to repairs for some of those products, some of the places in the in the, uh, the Clusa Nature Center. Um, but I've, I'm just going by what I heard. All right, so I ranted long enough. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this uh, go-to that I got and uh, then we'll be done. I hope you guys um, check out the Nature Center. I can't stress it enough. It means a lot to me if you guys could because it's my future and some of the other kids' future to have the Clusa Nature Center and the Planetarium. Okay, so this here is the go-to system. This is what the go-to system looks like. I actually wanted one of these for a very, 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 very long while since I got my my Celestron Power Seeker ADEQ. I've always wanted to get a go-to system. I just haven't had the money. I just couldn't. I just couldn't afford it. And I don't know the type of income that I make. I was going to have to do the hundred and thirty. $3 a month payment plan to be able to afford this uh, go to mount. Um, but uh, it works and all, and I'll get a give ahead and get over here and see if I can get the uh, zoom in on that there uh, controller. So we're going to slowly zoom in, and I'm going to go over here. And here is the uh, go to thing. Uh, this is the arm, is what they call it. And it's in really good condition. It looks like it's hardly been used. Um, I'll give you some tour of that later. This is where the um, the dovetail would go on. I need to get a dovetail that can slide into this rail for my, my ADQ. Um, they still have a dovetail, but it's between like 30 and, and uh, 50 bucks or so, including shipping. Um, but this is the go-to thing, and it's it'll it'll apparently hold a a 80 EQ telescope. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to turn this telescope, or try to turn this mount around without crushing my foot. And, um, yep. This thing's pretty heavy to hold with my weak computer geek hands and stuff. So, there you go. So there's the, uh, try to zoom in on that for you guys, nice and slow for you to be able to see that. Um, but this is the information on the uh, the go-to mount uh, that I got. It doesn't say any words about it being a um, an, an X an X or a star seeker uh, go-to system or anything like that. There's another side of it. it doesn't really say any words about it being a uh, a go-to uh, or not a go-to, but a uh, it doesn't say any words about it being a star seeker. But uh, you can see there, see, it's a literally really bad lighting, but then there's my eight inch daub. It's in the closet there. It hasn't been able to be used due to our weather here in Southwest Florida. Uh, this time of year is a really bad time to, uh, to do astronomy. And then there's a box. Um, it's got some cable in there. Uh, I'm not too sure what it's about. It's like an old, it reminds me of like one of those old VGA cables is what it looks like. 
I assume it plugs into there somehow or something like that. But anyways, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna turn this thing around without trying to knock it over. My weak uh, arms, I need to work out my arms, guys. I haven't, surprised I haven't worked out my arms dragging that telescope out. All right, so here's the, uh, the go-to, uh, the controller here. This is the, where some of the magic works of this go-to thing. Uh, this here is the controller. Very lightweight controller, you can see here. There's the Orion logo, you can see my feet for you guys with feet fetishes. Um, and we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. So let me see if I can find the button back here. Button, 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 button. Okay, I found the button. So we're gonna wait for this for the camera to focus here. Turn the button on here. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. So there we go. Initializing. It's got already got batteries in it, so gonna need a uh, adapter. There we go. Version right there. That's the version, apparently, and I don't know how to use it, so I don't know what we're supposed to do. We'll see if we can go to, uh, I watched the video, but I didn't watch enough of it. So let's see, menu. I'm not too sure how we uh, we used it, but obviously you guys don't want to sit here. Um, now I see it moves. Well, it moves. Let's see what we got here on the info. I'm pressing info, but I don't know. So, planet. Press planet, but it doesn't do anything. So, pressing tour, but tour doesn't do anything either. Uh, warning your telescope. Luckily at the sun, uh, do not look directly at the sun. Permanent eye damage will result. Use proper solar filter. Yep. So we gotta get this warning message apparently when you're gonna use this. I don't know if this, this comes up every time or what. So, um, Utility. Okay, we're gonna press enter that. Oh, it has me here asking for my latitude. I don't, I don't have that set up, so we're gonna have to set that up. I have no idea how to set that up, but uh, interesting. I'll have to get back to that uh, another time. Anyways, this is all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys liked it, and uh, thank you for watching.